All right, guys, welcome back. We're finally working on this, the engine. We have some awesome parts from some great partners, but we need to do a little bit of maintenance here and there to get ready for the things that we need to do, like, you know, mounting the engine right there. All right, so some of the maintenance items that we want to do is get this cleaned up. We have a high pressure fuel pump to install, some new magnetos going on, an alternator that goes in the place of the vacuum pump, all really great things. We want this engine to be as best as it can be because uh, yeah, I, I don't wanna die. So today we have Dwayne back here with us inside the hangar and he is gonna help us work on these beautiful magnetos. QAA has come to the rescue and is helping us with the Red Rocket build. And uh, they rebuilt this magneto and this magneto right here. And I think I have some pictures of what these used to look like and they look nothing like what they used to. These almost look brand new. I'm very, very happy with the quality of workmanship that they had in bringing these up to date. Anyway, so Dwayne is over here and we're using, what is this thing? It's a magneto timer. A magneto timer. And this is going to help us get the magneto in time where it's supposed to be so that we can put it timed on the aircraft. So what are we looking at here? So the Bendix have a red marking on their gear. And what it is, is you center it. Okay. Because as soon as I get it in the window and we get top dead center and it um, advanced, we still have to stab and listen for the breaker point. So I am trying to find a good, like I said, find a good ground so that we can listen to the points open up. All right, I think we found it. The uh, ground wire to this other one is, is bad. But we found it to this one and Dwayne got this one lined up and if we put it Oh, in the right positions, we're getting the beeps that we're supposed to be hearing. Okay. Now I won't go crazy when I go to put it on. So in order to put these on, I need to clean these up. This is a spacer right here. There's a gasket back there. I need to replace that, get this surface cleaned up for the magnetos. Here are all the gaskets, including the old one that was on there. And Dwayne, we're gonna divide and conquer. He's gonna be over here finishing up what's going on with the magnetos, getting these all torqued down and the cotter keys put inside of them. So uh, we're gonna turn on some music and get to work. Okay, these turned out great. Nice and clean surfaces to be able to work with. Dwayne's still over there fiddling with things. I'm gonna take the spark plugs out because part of doing this job is making sure that the engine is at top dead center. And it's much easier to turn the crank when the spark plugs are out and there's no compression, so. Well, I got all of these guys out and thankfully I only dropped one of them. I hear that's bad. S stop laughing. Uh, but the good news is, is that we do have a whole new set of spark plugs, which, you know, I should probably mention this now. Look, I'm using this Champion Aerospace spark plug holder, this, this Champion Aerospace spark plug puller. It's got a magnet in there. This is fantastic. And, and Champion went ahead and joined us in this mayhem for the Red Rocket and sent us a whole new set of spark plugs for this airplane. And I'm very excited about it because these look a little worse for wear. So when this engine came to me, it was literally taken apart, but uh, we needed to get this at top dead center for the work that we're trying to do for it. So what Dwayne and I just did, you can see there's a little mark right here for top dead center. And there's other markings on here that also help line it up on the engine. Um, but because it wasn't bolted, we didn't know exactly where this was. So we went ahead and uh, backed up on some of our work, put this guy, back in and Dwayne came over here and just put his thumb over this as I spun the ring gear. And what ended up happening is it started putting pressure inside of this uh, or a vacuum inside of this. And we went until we could tell that it was at top dead center because um, it was pushing air. And now if I turn it this way, it sucks air. And if I push it this way, it sucks air for a vacuum. And if we look closely in here and there's the piston. So we're at top dead center and we're ready to get these magnetos on. Dwayne, where are we at? Almost there. Almost there, okay. Seriously, I can't get over how good a job QAA did rebuilding these guys. 
And uh, they even went as far as putting a new plate on here. They stamped my serial number and everything back on it. My old ones were really bad. So uh, we are ready though to get these guys mounted on here. Dwayne, we have all of our tools? Yes. Awesome. So we have these guys lined up. They're ready to go. All of our hardware and this little box, which is gonna make everything just oh so magical. All right, so the first thing that we wanna check is on this plate right down here. And in this bottom corner, we're seeing spark advance 25 degrees. So we need to take our engine from top dead center to 25 degrees. And if we look up over here, top dead center with our mark over here, we have a 25. So Dwayne's gonna go ahead and turn that bad boy to the to, to line up right there. That, that looks, that looks, that's pretty good, yeah. We're gonna start with this one, and Dwayne told me I have to do it. You're a jerk. <laughs> First thing, we're lining this up again, that's where it's supposed to be. We get our gasket, put it on, and then just, just put it in. Gently. Okay. So now we need this. Thinker phaser. Okay, got it. We're gonna need this guy. The new fabricated pigtails. Fabricated pigtails. <laughs> okay. Black goes to ground, which is the outside of that. The shielding of the wire, and that at least that shielding is attached. Okay, so turn this on. You can turn it on. All right. So we want to hear, we want a light to go out, and we want to hear a buzzing sound, but you gotta be really gentle as you turn it. And if it doesn't work one way, go the other. Oop, there you go. That's it? That's it. It opened up, right? so to now be opened at 25 degrees, and okay. then they spark, it'll spark. Okay, cool. Got it. Okay, so we got this one all timed up. Dwayne's telling me I can, oh gosh, that's awful. So I turn that on, it's gonna be beep, 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 beep. But then when I hook it up to here, it should be completely solid, which means these guys are working together. So uh, here we go. Hey, okay. Now, what's next? We can verify that- Up there? Up there, that they're both now, you can test both at the same time and verify when they both come on. Okay. And they should be almost on top of each other. Okay. Turn it. Turn it. Now oh, they're off. Now they're off. And as you get close, okay. there's and one. There's both. Two. And they're lined up where they're supposed to be. Okay. Yep. Gosh. Just go off. All right. We've got our mags again. Wow. QAA. Good job here. These look fantastic. Everything is timed. That's a big hurdle. Yeah. That's a big hurdle. Mags are a big hurdle. For oh, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Quality Aircraft Accessories, or QAA, which I've been calling them this entire time, and don't mind what's been going on behind me. I literally could not have done this part of the Red Rocket build without them. So if you guys need something overhauled or looking for some airplane parts, definitely check out Quality Aircraft Accessories. <laughs> I feel so accomplished today. Dwayne's finishing up putting the caps back over those, those door things that we were looking at, but... Man, I can't wait to get this mounted. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends. I love inspiring aviation, which is why every video we end with, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.